That's when you try and scrap and you got a cat, you put a lovely little blanket in the sun for him right here next to me. And you can't see it now. But he reckons this is the place he must lie. Not a little space provided for him. That's expecting a little bit too much now, is it? Okay, biscuit, come. Yeah, out of this range. Go lie down there. Next time you get up, okay, you decided to lie down. Okay, today I'm going to show you how I cover my clipboard. What I have carried out of my stash is little a family, which is this is all about family now. But a little stick which got a flag on, little typewriters, washi tape, and I've got this old old pad from Graphics 45, got some paper from Graphics 5. I've got a roller, a knife, stamp, ink, and I've got. Um, acrylic or gel medium and I have got some little little flowers also I already cut my heading for my board out there were these little letters which I will paint or spray but I think painting will be fine I'll cut them neat when I'm ready I'm going to scrap this today because this is going to be the most important phone numbers that you're going to need in the next 21 days so first of all I'm going to take us off got my clipboard. This clipboard used to be my mother's which passed away in 2001. Always kept it, never knew why, but now we're using it. So, my paper. There is all sorts of beautiful, beautiful paper here. I'm going to use, I think, the clocks. Because our life is down at the moment in countdown. I'm correctly come down to stay at home, to go with our families, and to just adhere by the rules, which is very, very important. If not, we're going to find ourselves in lockdown for a long, long, long time. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to put it here. Now, one thing you must remember, when I'm going to put it on a gel medium. When you use gel medium, you... I find out I cannot use tape in the bottom, glue in the bottom, and then put gel medium. So if you do that, wherever the glue is in the bottom or the tape, it is going to actually pull, and you're going to, and your paper is going to go all ugly. So what I do is I now really, oops, you need a craft mat which I don't have. I don't miss my mat. I'm going to put my gel medium here, nice and thick. I really want it to stay on. Now I was lucky, I have tubs with a big tub, because I quite like using it. At Skybook Studio we don't sell these big ones, I suppose we can order, I don't know. But I did order it for me. We've got a liter tubs, we've got little small ones. Again, when you use gel medium, or any one of these sticky products, what you must remember, when you're finished, make sure that's clean make sure that's clean before you close it up okay so now i'm gonna do i'm gonna take my clock 12 up i suppose yep i'm gonna stick it on there now i didn't put enough gel medium there i think so i'm gonna put a little bit more i'm gonna cover over that strip so that's not too worried about that now at the moment so what i do is i put a roller if you don't have a roller you can just spot it with your hands and I'm going to roll this down so there's no bubbles. One thing with using this, and you want to seal it later on. I found out you leave this for a good couple of hours. If you don't leave it, and you put your top layer of jar medium to seal it on the top, what's going to happen? You stretch your paper, it gets wet, and you get all those little crinkles. So for those people who's done Modge Podge or any one of this, and if you haven't done it before, you're going to remember this now because you don't want your paper to go all ugly. So I'm going to put this one way. It's nice and smooth as you can see, and that is such pretty paper. Okay, now to the next part. Now I see I've pulled it up here. So I'm going to take my brush, and I'm going to put a bit of more gel medium in there. And I'm going to roll it. And I'm going to put it one way because now I'm not ready for the next thing. So next thing to do is maybe your letters. Now the letters don't have to match, they don't have to be the same. I can promise you everybody 
in this stock somewhere. And all of us grab a stock, trust me. All of us got stuff that's lying there that we haven't used. If you're gonna start scratching, that's what I did this morning. I scratched all my old stuff. That's why I got that old, old paper there. You don't even get that paper anymore. That was years ago. Okay, so what I do is I clean all these off. Because I'm going to stick them to the top of my clipboard like I showed you. It says important. Now once we are free of this virus, which is going to happen if we stick to our lockdown rules, you can actually take the clipboard, with this going to be on my clipboard, and you can actually go put something else on it. You can put that anywhere in the house to use, because it's always something important that must be remembered, must be done. Uh, somebody said, this is the time those husbands are going to be sorry when I said to their wives, when I have the time, love, well, now it's going to be the time. So I have that. Now I'm going to get my craft sheet. I'm going to get some glue. Um, and I'm going to get some paint. So you can use any, any, any paint you want. I have bought this Finifers metallic paint. We've got all sorts of little pretty paints to to use that thing. Of course, I'm going, of course these are white. I'm not going to take them um, and seal them with gesso. If you have those horrible, horrible brown old chipboard, they're lovely, but they're not nice. Uh, in, you could be able to spell this. In, per, or, uh, uh. Why I write the word out to make sure I don't paint up the wrong side and upside down. That's happened before. Trust me, especially if you come little short little numbers. Okay, my, now what I'm going to do open my paint. Oops. Ah, I see biscuit eventually when we laid on his cloth. He must probably gave up on me. Okay, so I'm going to, if you don't want to get your fingers dirty, you can take a pricker or a tweezer. I just use whatever is handy in front of me here. Yeah. So all my tools are sitting right in front of me, ready to use. So this is now one of the non-messy jobs. Some people like off the page scrapping, which is messy, which you can tell what you want to, that is messy, most things we use. Some people like not getting their fingers dirty, trust me, I know there's a couple of our clients that actually don't like the messy stuff. My sister, for instance, used to scrap with me, before she got Parkinson's, but she can't scrap anymore. The other day I said to her, give me a lot of nonsense and I am going to just leave you where you are. So and she just laughed about it. But I said, oh, she can help me in the kitchen. And she said to me, how? And I said, no, I'm going to give you a bowl and a whisk. Keep your tablets away for a while and you can whisk the stuff. I will not tell you what she said to me. But we laughed about it in the end. If you can't laugh, and keep it, I hear about the rules, but laugh and keep a light heart through this time that's coming. We are sure going to be in a lot of problems. This is going to be a test of family time, test of not be irritated, not a lot of things that we sort of took for granted is going to be taken away. My heart goes out for those people who stay six, seven people in a small little house who don't have the facilities that we have. The time is actually to pray for them and think of them because they are going to be the worst off. We think we're bad. No, we're not. We've got electricity, we've got a big house, we've got our TVs, we've got everything around us that we need. We've got enough space to collect food. I'm not going to bulk buying, but some of the poor people don't even have fridges. 
and, and those are the people I think one is the hardest hit in this country. Now I'm gonna get my ink to paint that one. Okay, we're gonna use I'm gonna use this stuff. A little bit dry. But we can always spray a little bit of water in that to revive it again. Remember some most of the products I don't think it's still heavy. Most of the products if they would have been dry, and if they're water-based, I find out you can give it a light little spray of water and you can actually sort of revive it again. We will see. Now, I think that will work fine. Okay, we've got to go blue father and mother. As I said, this is all about family time. So, I think it is important to really, really spend time with our families. And for goodness sake, I hope I don't hear about anybody doing news like the, the Italians, which totally disregard the rules, which is not helping for the lockdown. People are arrogant. Sorry to say it. Not, not everybody, but a lot of people are. Think, oh, it's never going to happen to me. Well, that's not important. Trust me, our government knows the best. They've seen what's happening. They know about things we don't know about even, I think. Okay, we're going to have a rainbow nation here. They've got the nice brown one. All these families only got one kid. Which is not true in our life of today, but one children are gonna have. Okay, we make like this one got a grandpa and a grandma or grandma with them. As you can see, I paint one way, so I told the kids smart did. If you paint rock like this, you don't get the even effect. You can go back and give them a second coat if you want to, but I think this paint really covers it so nicely. Okay, that family is nearly covered. That's nearly covered. Uh, my page is a bit big for this whole lot, so we're going to cut some of these family members off, unfortunately. But they're all going to come out there. Okay, so I'm going to... Not very well. Good painting here. Some of the little like, primary school kids might be teach me to color in. Okay, so we're going to close that. I'm going to put this one way so it can dry. On the floor is a very good idea because nobody else in this house to walk on it. Okay, now I've got my clipboard, which is now kind of a little bit dry. So now I'm going to take my craft knife and I'm going to cut the back off. Now, another thing is remember, if you cut your paper, before it is dry. Paper doesn't like wet to be cut. So if you cut it while it's wet, what you're going to do, you're going to actually tear the paper. That's why another thing was important to, to make your stuff dry first. Okay, I'll lift my clipboard up. I'm going to squish a lot of your medium in here. I'm going to overlap that. Remember I said I'm going to paint over that. I'm going to put it on there. Uh, my washes don't run the same, but they're not too bad. Ah, uh, dear baby, here comes the other meow meow here. Hello, Speedy. He likes to sleep there on the table and behind. I catch him there regular. Given up chasing him off here, all I make sure every night is that nothing but nothing is on the table where they can lie on because they sort of destroy everything when they lie on it okay now I need to cover that top part a bit more um, just taking some cut off pieces okay, I'm gonna go over the clipboard there with my lovely scissors hanging all over the show I'm going to cut it in half because I need that which I need. 
Ja, maar op podcasts waren ik het in de kabbets. Maar die was wel op schrap. Dat is nog weer een beetje wat meer aarde. We gaan af en toe met de komt te dag. We gaan af en toe met een lot of food. They just eat. So. They are on a strip. The word is not a diet. The word is a strip eating program. It's like my sister's England. Send me a WhatsApp yesterday and said, All I'm doing is I'm cooking and baking and eating. And then she sent me some saga pudding recipe she made to her family yesterday. <laughs> and I said, I see this. After this lockdown, a lot of us going to roll back to work. Me included, because I'm going to make lots of little videos with nice stuff to make. Stuff is easy. Stuff is um, what I say, healthy, but it's actually not too bad for you. It's not bought, it's homemade. I made sago yesterday, and I will post that. I made. What's the other thing I made? Oh dear. Now we've got a problem. I'll show you now what that problem is. Okay, this is what happened in my house, and then we have two cats that fight. That one, the side, oops, that puts him away. The side, he wants to lie with the other one. He does it. From the SPCA, I mean, really. And, and, and the other one doesn't really enjoy that. But he <laughs> hasn't got too much choice, has he? Anyway. I'm going to now go a short break and I have a second session. I think let's drive first. So, see you now. Okay, now I'm carrying on. I will show you. My for to the day is patience. Trust me. Sometimes I need it. Although I only got one sister in this house, it is actually important. We don't have patience, we don't su won't survive. Okay, now I have stuck it all down. I'm going to give it my top coat. Nice, no, even strokes. Remember, once you've done your bottom and you get it dry and you put your cup coat on, you can put as many coats of these on as you want to. In the years gone by, we did um, trays and all sorts of things. I'm going to sand these down later in the back when I'm finished. I'm also going to use a bit of alcohol on that thing because it really doesn't look good. So, now we're going to arrange these. I'm going to put some washi tape over that joint. I'm going to put a little bit of gel medium in the back. I use old cardstock which I have, which is double sided. I don't think you get these anymore. So they're actually beautiful. So, luckily for all that stash in the cupboards, years of collecting. What did I say so the other day? If we didn't buy so much scrapbook stuff, we we'll probably all be able to write Rolls Royces now. And I don't think I'm exaggerating. So this paper is thick. They're not going to pull. So what I do, I make sure I really stick it down. I use my brush quite hard. I don't like to use a roller on top of this as wet. Okay, got a layer of that. I'm going to have a layer of this. Line it up nicely. And I seal it as I go along. Of course, I mean, it's nothing worse if you do a project on a wall and it's not sealed. You need to have a seal. So you can dust it, you can clean it. Okay, and this is the most important thing of this whole clipboard is this the communication numbers, the WhatsApp numbers. Hotline numbers. Okay, paint them up nicely. Now, when you do your gel medium, well, one row like this, one row like that. You see now, this lady didn't let it dry, so it's pulling a little bit. So I'm not fiddle with it anymore. And that's what happens if you fiddle with the stuff. You shouldn't do that. I told you it was. No. Work on it while it's wet. I did that just to prove my point and look at it. But I will leave it. I'm not going to fiddle with it. Now we're going to put our little family in the bottom. Uh, we're going to start with two children on the sides. So what I do, I put a nice lot of gel medium because I want all the family to fall off. 
put it up there. No, oh, that child's arm's gonna cut off. Okay, rather the arm than the body. Okay, now I'll paint it up. It was dry, so the, just seal it. Okay, now I'm going to use my embellishment. Put it in a corner with lots of gel medium. I'm going to paint it up a little bit later. Well, I can leave it as that. It just depends what you want to do. Oh, stuck my brush and my cup of tea, didn't I? That was not the done thing to do. Okay, that is all stuck up. That I can't do yet, the uh, washi tape, because it's not dry. You can see my ridge there. Pull it down. Okay, so now we've got our memories which I must clean up in a bit in the back. Again, I don't, don't mind putting a lots of stuff here because I know I want to do really stick it in. I'll just do that. Oh, it was important. Oh dear, if you can't actually remember what we're doing. Important. There's I M P. And I'm going to let these dry very well before I'm going to fiddle with them. Okay, let's put lots of gel medium on. Don't want it to fall off. And I'm going to kind of stick them in a straight line. I'm going to stick them going down. More gel medium. So going over the bump there. Okay, as you can see, there's going to be no washi tape there. We will put the washi tape somewhere else. Now, okay, extra off my brush, and I'm going to clean it up nicely. So now the rest is not that thick. Put it up. Because remember, I'm putting it back in my big bottle. But when you're finished, you remember to make the sure that the outside is clean. So you're not going to come back in a day or two and go and get your bottle open. Although most of us are going to have husbands at home to help us open it. But that's not nice though. You want to do it yourself. Now's the time to do a nice little family project too. Print a couple of photos. Do a little family thing but just photos of the whole family taken at home or old photos doesn't matter if you can't print at home you haul out your stash all of us have all of us have photos somewhere that hasn't been scrapped I'm going to scrap 21 days okay the next step of my clipboard, everything else is dry underneath. I have got alcohol inks, which I haven't used for a long time, but they're actually quite lovely. I drop little drops of them. I put craft sheets underneath. My craft sheets is going to get stained, but that doesn't worry me because I've got actually a couple of them, and I use them for all sorts of things. So I'm just putting a couple of drops of this down. I've got the blue, a brown, a green, and I'll just put more drops down. Now what I do, I have my sponges. I use a normal little sponge, and I'll go and do that. Dab it, just to mix it up nicely. I'm not going to use alcohol to clean it. <laughs> Bend that back. That is very very pretty oh doesn't look that rusty anymore you can also use rust base but that to me is quite what I wanted now I'll finish my craft sheet as you can see this one I cut up it's got a <laughs> cut in there I'm sure everybody's got craft sheets that look like that somewhere or other okay I'll lift it up some of it seeped in the bottom uh, I'm gonna do that clean it we're gonna wash this later that's all ready. So now I'll take my jewel bond. That's the one I love. Because I've now got enough and I've got lots. Yeah, nice thick little 
blobby on there. Sick little blobby on there. I'm going to put one lower down. And this fell off something somewhere else. I don't know where it was. I'm not too worried about it. Oops, we've got your bond on there. It will dry clear. So, but that little flower doesn't look nice there, so I'm going to take it off. And I've got my three little flowers in the top. Clean my jewel, close my jewel bond. And I'll put it upside down. Get the wet one, clean my fingers. When I've finished, I'll take a sanding block. And so I've got a couple of them. My knife goes in an old one, pick it goes in an old one, and it stands there. And I go and sand down. Just to give this a nice, even finished. This is down in. If you go up, you've got a good chance of ruining your paper. If you don't have a sanding block, I'm sure your husband somewhere in the house, somewhere in the garage, will have a piece of sandpaper. Which I will show later what I want to do with a piece of sandpaper out of the garage. Because now, there's all sorts of things that is handy to do, you've got a time to do them. If I want to bring that up some more, I can put a bit of stickles on it. Uh, what color stickles? Purple is not going to do it for me. Mm, do I need stickles? Mm, can use stickles, but I don't know. Purple, 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 no. So, okay, so I'm going to leave it like that. So I now got a clipboard. It's a bit wet there still. With all these pretty little colors. Notice, and my clipboard has got a hole in the top which I'm going to hang up somewhere in my house so it is ready to look at all the time when you want to need a number because I tell you, you trust me, in a time of panic you can't think of where your numbers are what they are it is normal human reaction so, what I said I was going to use a bit of there we go, a bit of, a bit of Washi tape on there, I'll put a piece on there, put it nice and skew, huh? not straight. Washi tape is meant to look like it's keeping something there. So, put that in that corner, I can put a piece on this corner, you can use the edge if you want to. That you do there, and that's perfect. So, I have done it, it's ready to hang up. And it's an easy project, not too messy. So I hope you guys enjoy it.